yesterday working on this garden bed. I'm not too sure what happened with the drip irrigation system, so I'm trying to figure that out. Um, we have an issue because it flooded quite a bit, so I'm guessing one of the connections might not be tight enough. So I'm going to look and try to figure this out, and I think I know where it is. I think it's when I tried to like sneak past and do something. So I'm going to try to get that figured out and hopefully get this system working because I got water everywhere now. So you can see it. Just that area. All down there. It's like it's leaking from right there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. The sun's kind of bright. And then this one seemed to do well. So I'm not sure why that one did good. And this one did not. So I'm going to play with it and see what I can figure out. I don't know. I can't figure it out. It looks like it's going well now. So I'm going to move on and try to get a few other things done today in the garden. It's never ending. And this sun. I need a hat. I'm going to work on finishing laying out my drip system so I can get it done. Hopefully I can get the other bed and then kind of give the full system and see what happens. Fingers crossed this goes well. I'm going to work on laying out the tubing and get that all set up. But one thing I'm really trying to do is save as many pieces as possible and part of that is getting the tubing I got stuck yesterday out of the connection. So I finally get it out and I'm able to start connecting the garden beds that have water to my three garden beds that do not have water. I'm going through this process and trying to analyze everything and get it set up. So it moves pretty quickly compared to the first day. I'm super shocked by just that simple grasp and understanding the first day and how I can translate that into the second day. I'm finally laying out the tubing that is going to connect to my irrigation timer. And now I'm going through and ha hammering down the tubing in place so it's not a trip hazard or anything like that. I'm adding on the top connector pieces that will allow the tubing to connect to the piping that I'm using. So I'm really happy I found those little connections. Um, I will link to them below so you're able to access them. And now time for the drip irrigation or my soaker hose. I'm laying this down in my garlic bed and I'm trying to make sure that I get it fully covered, adding the butt ends, which are the ends that keep the water from exiting the tube and keep it inside the tube, connected while I'm cutting the tubing just to save an extra step. Grandpa does like to come out and talk to me when I'm out here in the garden and it's pretty fun. As I'm going through and laying in the tubing for my garlic, again, it's a great upper body workout as you're trying to force the, that tubing onto the connector and just working its way through uh, in between the garlic. Now, again, this would have been much easier to do had I originally installed this prior to planting the garlic, but I did not do that. Now I'm getting the tubing laid out. I'm also gonna go ahead and put the tubing into my green bean bed so that way I have it all ready to go and I can begin watering both the green beans and the corn through this method. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough water for the corn but we'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. You never know until you try and if it doesn't work I can always add in more hosing because I did use a six hole connector on this plot so if I do need to add more later I can. I heard it. It scared me. It was like a bomb. Let's see. I don't think it has enough pressure. Oh, 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 we're dropping. Yes. 
think it has to build everything up. You no know, under here. Oh. If it's oh. dripping over there, that's the farthest place you'll be fine. The farthest away is these ones over here. Yeah. And you got tricks, so you're good. I just found some areas that I need to fix and I know exactly what I'm gonna do, so let me show you. So right here on this, I'm gonna take and run a piece of non-hold tubing to avoid this dripping, but for right now, as I'm trying to get stuff going, I think this is fine. I'm not gonna stress it. But what I could do is I could put a little cup under here to see how much water actually comes out in 15 minutes. It's still running, no issues thus far. I've locked the tubing and I don't see anything minus which I need to do here and that one looks good that's wet from what I did that one's not wet that one's not wet and this one is holding pressure which is really important because this is the one that um, I want to make sure it keeps pressure as it's going through. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. Nerve wracking! Alright, it's done. No major malfunctions, which is a win. Alright, so here's the cup. Let's see how much water. Holy cannoli! That is a lot of water. No wonder why this one flooded out the other day. That so explains it. Cannoli. Wow. Wow. What I'm learning is this takes a lot of playing with and no one's perfect when you first start out. You just kind of see what's going on. So I need to connect my potatoes, which I now know how I'm going to do that. I couldn't like conceptualize it even with blueprinting and different things. Get that under that grasp of it um, and then hopefully tomorrow afternoon when I'm done with work because quarantine's got me working at home I'm just gonna come right out here and plant my tomatoes and peppers which I'm excited for because I got big big plans <laughs> 